Okay, we have another video here now. We're going to replace uh, this is a E350 Mercedes. Let me see what year is this? 2010. The complaint is a, a whining noise with the car running and when it steers. So, let me show you what we have here. We'll just call it away. I went and you know check this the power steering fluid and it's completely empty so the problem is the power steering pump is leaking so we're going to replace it see if you guys can see a little bit of a the wet right there that is exactly the power steering pump so we got the parts everything original from Mercedes we got the pump in there we got the fluid and of course we're going to replace the dry belt so we're going to be just starting to take it apart. Okay, I removed the belt. Uh, it's very easy in the tensioner right here, uh, right where, where my finger is, a 17 millimeter uh, socket. You just release the pressure, remove the belt, that's it. Then uh, you have three screws to hold the reservoir for the power steering fluid. Uh, you can see right here right here and here you know they stay on the reservoir it's a t30 torch uh, then also you have to remove from the back this uh, kind of like a cutter pin that secures the reservoir on the steering pump you have to like with a small screwdriver come to the side and push it a little bit to help you out and then what I did is uh, I went and used uh, this you know one of the picks that has like a, a bend on the side like this and I went through the back, get it in there, and then just wiggle it in and then get it out. And then that's it, the reservoir is off. Make sure you put, you know, a rag or something underneath just to collect some of the oil. I have a, uh, I remove the undercover of the engine, no matter what, and uh, everything is going to be on that container. I also remove the upper coolant hose to get, you know, a better uh, space to work. So. As far as this is, as far as uh, I have right now, let's keep going. All right, pump is out. Um, after the reservoir, you know, the three torch, uh, the T30 torch, you have three more bolts. Those are a positive size torch, you know, this, this one's and the socket is, let me see. is E12. It uses two on the front and one on the back right there. It's a little tricky. You can actually use a, a 10 millimeter uh, wrench and that works as well. It's very easy to remove. Let me show you the oil pump. So this is the oil pump. Like I said again it has one, pump, one bolt here and here and one more in the back. The holes on, on here. So I'm ready to make more licks in there. This is the new belt, so I don't want to damage that one. I have the new pump in here. I'm going to clean everything very nice with uh, engine degreaser and carbon cleaner. I got it right here, so I like always to clean everything very nice, so it looks like brand new again. Okay, pump is installed, belt is installed. Um, pretty straightforward just you know reverse way that you did it just the three bolts on the back on the pump the three screws the 230 torch on the front you can see one uh, let me see if I can put the light so you guys can see it one right there the other one is right in this hole and the other one is right here all right everything is done uh, I finally uh, you know finish putting the engine under cover which you don't really need to take out I just did it because you know I wanted to clean everything up very good. Oil is at the right level. Everything is nice and clean. I already started and you know steer the wheel left and right to make sure you know you prime all whatever is on the system. Sorry for the fingers in there. Started the car before it was a big whining.
nice and smooth no problems at all not a good repair nice and easy all right i hope you guys like the video too and have a good afternoon